In this video, I'm going to show you one method for doing a provisional cast-on. Um, I call it the wrap-on cast-on, and you only need um, a pair of circular needles and your working yarn. So hold the circular needles in your left hand with the tips pointing towards the right, and make a slip knot. And place the slip knot on the bottom needle. The slip knot will get taken out later. Um, so you hold the needles parallel and then just wrap the yarn around both needles. So with the knot, slip knot on the bottom, go behind and in front. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So however many stitches you want to cast on. In this case, I'll just do seven. Um, then hold the working yarn behind the needles and pull out the bottom needle. Now you want to leave a loop on either side. So here's a loop and then um, here's a loop and just knit across these top stitches and that's it the bottom stitches are just going to hang out on that cable until you're ready for them um, and you have your top stitches so you have seven stitches seven and you should have seven stitches on the bottom and remember that the slip knot doesn't count you just take that out when you're done um, and since this is a slip knot, it'll just pull right out. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches on the cable needle. And now you just continue working across those top stitches. So as your work grows, the distance between the stitches on the cable and the ones on your needle obviously will grow, um, and it'll get a little bit less awkward um, than it is at the beginning. But just follow the pattern and leave the stitches there. They'll be waiting for you when you're done. This method is really nice because you don't need any extra yarn, um, you don't need extra needles, and your stitches are waiting for you um, when you need them. So, thanks for watching.